For breakfast today, I am eating three slices of bread. And as I told you guys yesterday, I have some of this lunch meat that I have to use because it's almost no longer like good for eating. <laughs> like it's on their date of like, um, you get what I mean. So the same goes for this meat. So I think I'm going to eat the same thing for lunch because I, like I said, I really have to use that up. I have made some tea. This is my sandwich. It looks like this. And um, yeah, that's about it. So bon appétit. Hey, Lam Femme. So this is take two of me. Uh, yeah, just replacing my mirror. I have to get this out of here. I'm going to take off the electrical cords. We've got a nice spider's nest in there. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so this is pretty hard to do. It needs quite some wiggling. And right there's Mucker. Hey Mucker. Okay, so I installed like the electrics. I just turned on my uh, heating element for my mirrors to see if I connected them in the right way. Because like the electric output is a little bit different from this mirror compared to my old mirror. So we'll see. Yay. So um, yeah, the heating did work. I connected it back on here. I'm going to just make sure that my mirror is in the correct like position for me to drive my car safely again. And that's it. So I'm going to go for some gas right now. Bye bye Makker. So it's Sunday and it's super busy as you can see. Like it's way cheaper today. So I have to wait in line to get some gas. <laughs> that's so funny. I've never seen it this busy. Yay, almost my turn. Yay, finally. Oh my God. That isn't too bad. Hey guys, so right now I'm at a other gas station. I'm also going to pump up my tires. Come on, you can do it. This one's done. Next one. Hey Lemon, so this is my second meal. I am going to eat that. It is quite a lot. Um, these are just the veggies that I made yesterday. Some of the bolognese sauce, the like the pasta sauce that I made a few days before that. And I cooked some fresh pasta. So this is what I'm going to eat. Bon appetit. Hey Lemon, so when I came back home, I did some vacuuming. I have vacuumed everything. I still have to clean the whole carpet, but I will do that tomorrow because it's getting late. I dusted like this piece of furniture. I cleaned my table and my tabletop. And um, yeah, that's how it looks right now. I still have to fix those Christmas lights because they are not hanging okay. They have to go like all the way alongside the walls, but I still have to fix them. I will do that probably this week. As you can see, there are a lot of holes in my ironing beads wall. I have to fix it because a lot of them came off, I think because the sun shines directly on there in the summer. Um, so yeah, I still have to fix that. Peace out. Brookies. Oh my God, I'll give them some, some food. And right here is my lemon tree. My lemon tree is doing all right. And um, yeah, that's about it. By the way, I also changed the sheets of my bed. The same goes for my bedroom. I also have to fix the fairy tale lights on this wall. Hello, Lamfam. So today it is September 26th. Yesterday I ate only two meals, so I want to eat a bigger meal for breakfast to just like make up for the missed meal yesterday. I didn't eat because like my body was hungry, but I was just too lazy to get up and make something for myself. So I want to sort of compensate that meal not because i'm super hungry but because i know that when i skip meals eventually that will lead to binging and i think i well it's 11 24 a.m right now so it's barely morning i have a meeting at 2 p.m and after that i will be eating my lunch i think i'm just going for some yogurt and then i'll make my lunch a bigger lunch uh, because i just woke up and i'm like nauseous as it is and ugh, I don't feel like eating uh, but like I said if I skip meals that will make me binge a routine in terms of food is very very important I try to eat three meals a day and I try to eat at set times to uh, just get my body used to not being deprived and uh, wanting to binge because of that most of the time when I do have a binge it's not because my body is hungry but because of a lot of stress and tension builds up over time and that results into like this 
explosion where I just want to have some food and I don't know any other option or solution at that time. But sometimes I have binges because I just starve my body and I want to take that element away by eating regularly. Hey, that went well. Since I have binge eating disorder, it's very, very important for me to eat at least three meals at set times. Even when this means that I sometimes have to eat a meal when I'm not very hungry. Eating regularly is very important for most people with binge eating disorder since they are often not yet capable of listening or trusting their body signals when it comes to food. Feeling hungry, feeling full, feeling when to stop whilst eating, etc. This all has to be relearned over time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have some yogurt. Uh, my kitchen is a little bit of a mess. Yep, yep. I have to do some dishes, I have a few plants standing here that I still have to repot. I have some boxes that I still have to like shred up. By the way, I ended the day yesterday by taking a shower and my hair is already starting to get greasy. It starts to get greasy quite fast after I take a shower, but that's okay. Um, I took a shower yesterday, I went to bed and eventually I stayed up until... 3 a.m. I think. Um, yeah, I, I laid in bed and I just couldn't sleep. I was too excited. I did too much things like through the weekend. So I really, really, really need to take some time to just relax, um, which is a little bit hard because I already have a lot of plans for today. I will definitely have to work on that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to make some breakfast. Bon appetit for breakfast. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later, Lemons. And when I wake up, I slept through the day. Fuck. This is not a lot, it's so little. This is not that much, but yeah. I added a little bit of water enhancer and I'm going to stir this up. Bon appétit. Aww, <laughs> Macrens, we are sharing this blanket. That's so cute. For lunch, I am having this slice of bread. I did put on some honey. I have some goat cheese and I will be adding some walnuts. I did prepare way too much walnuts because I only had enough honey for two slices of bread on top of each other. So I'm just going to use a few of them and the rest I'm going to save for later this week. I'll have to buy some new honey. So that's it. I'll be adding some lettuce and that will be it for my first sandwich. For my second sandwich, I just had some lunch meat, some lettuce, and that's it. And then my first sandwich is looking like this. So, bon appétit. By the way, I said that I wanted to have a more heavy lunch. As you can see, I am eating four slices of bread instead of three. Hello, Lemfem. So, I have been cooking, and for my last meal, I will be eating some potatoes, some meat, some baked beans. Then, here I have some extra veggies, and I have this little cup of applesauce to go with it. And that will be my third and last meal. Hello, Lemfem. So, it's September 27th. For my breakfast, my first meal, I'm going to eat my breakfast shake, and this is the consistency. It's quite thick because I use one of my frozen bananas. Yeah, honestly, it tastes like a milkshake. I have been using the vegan protein powder for quite a while now and it's getting a little bit better, but still I like the normal stuff more. I'm sorry for the background noise, by the way. Of course, there's a cat on the toilet. So um, yeah, but bon appétit. Hello, I'm fam. So for lunch, I'm going to eat some yogurt. I have some muesli in there. I'm also going to add this cut up apple to it. Oops. This is what it looks like. I am going to top it with some cinnamon and that will be it. Here's my lunch. So bon appétit. So I am making some dinner. In this pot, I just added some tomatoes. I had a lot of leftover tomatoes. I emptied out my whole fridge and I just dumped all my veggies in there, the veggies that I had left and had to use up. And I'm eating that with some rice and the pork chop, or I think it's called a pork chop. The same thing that I ate yesterday for my meat and that will be it. So here is what I will be eating. My rice, by the way, it's brown rice. And um, yeah, bon appétit. Hello, I'm Femme. So today I do have a little bit of a busier day. I have an appointment with my psychologist at 4 p.m. After that, I will go to Stefan. I haven't seen him for a while. I will film my way in. I will stay the night at Stefan's place and then I will go home tomorrow. So those are my plans for today. And it is 10.30. 
well, 10.40 uh, a.m. I'm going to have some breakfast first. So the first thing I'm going to eat is my breakfast shake. It's super thick. I like it. It has frozen banana in it and bon appetit. Mm. So I am making some lunch. I am going to eat it in the car. I do have an appointment later, so I don't know. I like to eat in the car before going to the appointment because like sitting at home and eating is very stressful because I'm just constantly thinking about that appointment. I am going to top my bread with some cheese. This is like a really weird shape of cheese. I'm not used to it. It has these little tiny red spots in there. That's like hot chili pepper, I think. I've never tasted it, so we will see. This is what it looks like. I'm going to pack it so that I can bring it with me and bon appetit. Okay, so super random, but I saw this tree and look at these cute berries. Like over there, over here, so cute. Hello lemon. So at the moment I am at Stefan's place. My therapy session was okay. We talked about like things that motivate me to live. <laughs> Just some things that like make me happy to think about. And I came up with like, I want to be a strong independent person and feel that way and not constantly feel like I'm taking up space that I don't deserve. Like, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm sorry for the angle, like it's very, very like on top, but I already have my camera in place to film something for you guys because we have ordered Chinese and the Chinese here in Holland, it's like this mix of Chinese and Indonesian food. And we did order like a lot, but this is not for one day. Stefan has been having COVID, so he is getting better, but like this is to feed him maybe for tomorrow and maybe the day after that too. But I just wanted to show you like how our Chinese Indonesian food looks like. So let's go. Okay, so it's this huge box. As I said, like it's a lot of food. We of course have some of these shrimp thingies. I don't know the word for it, but this shrimp thing. So first of all, we bought two spring rolls. These are like very, very huge, big spring rolls with chicken and egg, or I think these ones have ham in them. So this is what they look like. And I will cut them open so you can see what's in them. But like I said, they're pretty big. And then for the huge, big stuff, we have a lot. We have this bag. We have these little spring rolls. They're super, super cute, as you can see. In, in English, <coughs> spring rolls. Oh, the group of kids called. I looked it up. They they call they they they're from Indian, Indonesian. Okay. They're called shrimp shrimp crackers or prawn crackers. Okay, so I don't know if you heard it, but Prawns like. Prawns are like the bigger. Oh, the the bigger shrimps. Okay, so Stefan just informed me that this stuff is called like shrimp crackers or prawn crackers. So we have some of those. We have this thing with peanut sauce. If you do not know peanut sauce, oh my God, this is like the best. We do have these little tiny cups with some hot sauce. They're so cute. Chili, yeah, chili, yeah. chili sauce. Chili. Then we have some of these veggies. Those are just some veggies with a little bit of sauce. Oh my God, it's leaking. Oops. So that dish that I just showed you was called chop choy. This is super hot. Um, this is called fuyung hai. It's this egg dish egg with mushrooms. I do love my mushrooms. And a lot of other stuff. We have babi pangang, which is like this meat in a pork. sauce. It's pork. Blah. We have, oh, we have a lot. We have some more of that peanuts. What, some, some more chicken. of that. I think. It's chicken made chicken. Chicken. You have several. Okay, this is called satay ajam or ajam ayam, I don't know. But it's this bunch of chicken inside of that peanut sauce again. I almost wanted to say peanut sauce. Oh my god, that was just in time to correct myself. We have some rice, just plain white rice with some chunks of meat and some veggie. And then we have this thing with bami, bami noodles, I don't know. But that's not everything, we still have more. Oh, the other stockfish and I. Mm. Oh, those, those are the ones that come, come to the Olympia special. The egg and the ham in the sauce. Yeah, true. It's egg and um, ham. Yeah. 
slice of ham and it's like the same sauce as with the Bobby Pangan. Okay, so apparently this is a thick, sweet, sour sauce like that meat. goes with the big spring rolls. And then we have another thing of these like chicken saute peanut sauce thingies. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is day fun for everyone that doesn't know. And Hello. He just everyone. wanted to come on and say hi really quick. Hi, everyone. <laughs> You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. So first I am going to eat this spring roll and yes, I know it looks like shit, but it does taste like delicious, believe me. Um, I just smeared some of like the peanut sauce inside of it. Inside of here, mostly it's toge and some other veggies and on the bottom there's some chicken. And this is my like first plate, I guess. Oh my God, that sounds so bad. But this is the first thing that I'm eating. Bon appetit. How do you call um, toge in English again? Something with egg? I think you just call it toge. Blah, blah, blah beans. Um... Sprout beans, bean sprouts. Yeah, I think that's the word. Okay, so as you saw, I ate the plate with the like massive huge spring roll. Then I ate two of these tiny little spring rolls and I ate one of these like sticks with uh, chicken on it with some of the peanut sauce. And actually like beforehand, before eating, I was planning on eating like the, the spring roll and then... Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> before eating, I was planning on eating the spring roll and then eating a little bit of rice or bami with it. But as I was eating like the spring roll, I was like, yeah, I think I'm satisfied. It's okay. So I'm done with eating for tonight. But what I am going to do is to fill up a little bowl for myself. Well, it's actually quite a big bowl. So I'm just going to take some other food and plate it. And after plating it, I am going to transfer it to this little container to just take home with me so that I can eat that tomorrow. Uh, because I don't know like there's this part of me and I think that's like the binge part or maybe the food addict part I don't know but there's this part of me that's like I have all this food here and I do not order this usually and I do not have like this Chinese place restaurant in in my neighborhood so there is this piece of me that's like oh my god it's here now I want to eat I want to eat I want to eat but as I was eating I was getting full and full and I was like I just have to stop and I know Stefan well enough so that I just asked him like is it okay to not take the second plate now but just put it in a container and just take it home so that I can eat it there and then Stefan said great idea yeah <laughs> so um that's what i'm doing now so what i'm going to film now is not what i'm going to eat it's what i will be eating tomorrow but here's a little bit more food for you guys yes So this is all the stuff that I food prepped, meal prepped. I have this little thing. These are just veggies and chicken. This is like a chop choy. I have this peanut sauce and there are two of these sticks with chicken in there. This is called the saute ajon. And then here you saw me food prep this like with the little containers. I have some bami to the left and then in the middle I have this. <laughs> Then in the middle I have this Fuyung Hai, which is an egg dish. There's also some chicken in there. And then like on the right there is this Babi Pangang, which is pork. And it's very tender. I tasted one piece whilst prepping this and this will be my dinner for tomorrow. I am struggling a little bit because I see all this and I just want to eat it. But I remember, like I remind myself, I do not want to eat this because I'm hungry. I want to eat it because like, look at it. It looks delicious. But yeah. Tomorrow this will be fine too. So let's eat this tomorrow. Always be my night sky. 